very good morning to you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Friends, uh, I just want to continue on from what we thought yesterday, what we, uh, the devotion of yesterday, where we spoke about the creation of mankind in the own image of Christ and how uh, sin came and tainted that image. And praise God for the restoration that He gave uh, by, by creating us in the image, being conformed to the image of Christ uh, through the salvation that He has given us. Uh, but friends, uh, today I want to just draw back our attention uh, to Genesis chapter 3, where it talks about the fall of man. Uh, it is good for us to see this passage uh, as we see the fundamental truth that led mankind to fall away from the perfect plan of God and that led man to disobey God's command. We know the narrative between the serpent and the women that took place in the Garden of Eden. And uh, there's only one point that I want to point out here and tell us how dangerous it could be even today in our walk of faith with the Lord. How we can be easily defocused from the only focus that is Christ the initiator and the perfecter of our faith. Let's turn together to Genesis chapter 3. This talks about the fall of man. I want to just draw our attention when we read down to verse 5. Verse 4 says, But the serpent said to the woman, You will surely not die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, so she took of it and ate it and also gave some to her husband who was with her. And then verse 7 says, The eyes of both were open." And they knew that they were naked. Friends, the devil is a very crafty one. He is very crafty. He just knows how to deceive mankind. And he knew where to touch if. And he knew in which sense mankind will fall. He did not come in a direct confrontation and challenge the deity of God. But he came very subtly to defocus Eve's attention away from God to his plans. And he knew the tree of life that was planted there was a forbidden fruit for mankind to consume. But then again, he came and tempted Eve and said, your eyes will be open. He drew her focus, the eyes, from God away to the tree. All this while she knew the tree was there. But she never, I believe that she never actually set her eyes on the tree. She did not admire the fruit. But here in verse 6 it said, So when the woman saw the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes. He defocused her from the original plan of God to look and to admire in the fruit. The moment she started defocusing from God and focusing on the tree, temptation started and he, she fell. And friends, even today in our own walk with the Lord, being saved Christians, you know most of the time why we continuously fall into sin, most of the times why we continuously live in disobedience to God because our sight often get diverted from the risen Christ and moves on to the things of this earth or whatever it may be that may deter us from growing closer to God. And the Lord Jesus Christ beautifully pointed this out in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 22. I hope you have your Bible with me that you can very quick flip to Matthew 6 in 22. The Lord Jesus Christ said this, The eyes is the lamp of the 
body. So if your eyes is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. The problem is our eyes gets unhealthy when we defocus it from God and turns our attention to the worries of life, to the needs of the flesh, for the lust of the flesh and so many things of this world seems to divert us from God. It is because our eyes, our focus point is being defocused from God. My dear friends, Jesus has warned us that the eyes is the light. And if the eyes is healthy, our whole body will be full of light. And on that day, in the life of Adam and Eve, and in the life of mankind as a whole, sin crept in, darkness crept in, because their eyes were defocused from God. And I believe the writer to Hebrew was also beautifully written. And I want to just read this verse and I complete this meditation this morning. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2. Looking to Jesus, the founder and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that is set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and seated at the right hand of the throne of God, looking to Jesus. Even today, being saved by the grace of God, being confirmed into the likeness of Christ, we have a higher calling that is to keep our focus always on Jesus Christ. The moment we defocused on God, that's when we end up in much trouble in life, we end up in much miseries in life, and we end up in much depression in life. So let's focus our eyes on Jesus as we move on into uh, this new era, into a new season in our life, in, even in this nation. Let's just look upon Christ. Let's pray. Father Almighty, help us, O oh Lord, to always look to Christ. Help us to always fix our focus on Jesus Christ and not on the things of this world. We know, Lord, in the history of mankind, mankind fell when the focus was defocused from you and moved on to the thing that the devil tempted. So help us, give us the grace and serenity that we will always keep our eyes on Jesus despite the circumstances that we go through in life. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask and we pray. Amen. Amen. Set your eyes on God, who is the perfecter of our faith. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.